All right, this is part two of the Mountain RN coming to visit me here in Seattle, and we're gonna do a little wound care on a little boo-boo that he brought all the way from Vancouver. So how, so how did you get this? Now there's blood in there, right? Yeah, I uh, I squeeze it. I, it, I, I um, you pinched it? I was, uh -huh. Yeah, I was pinch it. I was doing something and it got pinched. And so, um, yeah, now there's, there's blood into it. So. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is drain it. So we went into the Altoids EDC-10. We grabbed the safety pin out of there. We're also gonna use the Zippo lighter and we're gonna heat that up and, and stick it in there. Yeah. Similar, similar to what you have on your toe. Yeah, because basically it's the same way that if you would, because I didn't have time, but when you have a wound like this under your, and it very hurts, um, there's a name and I'll, because I don't put know an annotation. Very, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put in an annotation. Okay. But um, you want to drain this. So, so yeah. basically what we would do here is that you, you heat it so that when you go in, yeah. it breaks, it burns the, um, the nail and then it creates a little hole. And, then and what happens if you, hole. if you didn't drain it? Can we get it just infected and pressure and stuff and just everything, sucks. yeah. Or it stays like this for quite a while. But right now, if I would try to, because it's been um, coagulated, yeah. it's, it cannot come out. So. All right, so this is a sample one. So that we're just going to do it on the finger. Yeah. You, you, you come here with all sorts of wounds whenever you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm going to set uh, the mountain RN up with the, the wireless mic because there's a little bit of wind over here. So that'll help with the screening. So uh, let's uh, switch the camera a little bit and get started. So the heat does two things. First, it uh, helps to uh, so that it can break the skin or the nail, and second, it sterilizes the. I mean, on skin, I could use something a little bit sharper, but it's just more the concept, just like as you would use it for a, a toe. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then you drain drain the blood and because I, I've been patient to try to put it, I waited too long a little bit, so as <laughs> you can see the blood's coagulated. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you do it very quickly, the blood will just bleed. So you, um, you want to get that stuff. thing red hot, so yeah. So do you think it'd be better with more of a pin than a safety? Than well, for skin maybe, but this you want yeah. uh, more uh, a safety That's pin. Fun. That's how we do it. And but like I said, usually it's bright red. It's just now it's the wind and we're filming and yeah. stuff and everything. So it's not bad. I mean, it's still coming out. Yeah. And so basically, you empty the blood, and as you can see it's actually quite impressive. Like a small amount, but. There's still blood coming, right? And obviously if you're doing that on someone else, uh, <laughs> you have like clean hands and stuff. And when you push blood, don't forget uh, to go under. Actually, I don't know if you can see. See how there's white and there's red all around? Uh -huh. So the white is mostly uh, like white cells and stuff, and the red is where the inflammation is. So the wound is there, but there's still inflammation all around the wound. Uh, you don't see it now because everything is red, but uh, and so sometimes when you have a wound or something, it's way deeper than what it looks like. So you see like, you can literally see here the difference uh, between the, the redness and, and the white. So, so you, you really have to not just like press on it like a zit, but really go really deep to get it all out. And so now that it's empty, I'll put a little bit of um, cleaning. And because we're limited and we're in survival situation, <laughs> I'll put, I'll, put, <laughs> I'll put some uh, alcohol, but usually you don't want to put alcohol on that stuff. So. Uh, this is another way too that you can make your thing a little bit more sterile. A lot of people will use, uh, actually it's a good example, you see how it's black now? Yeah. Uh, if I would have put alcohol before, before the use of that, um, it would have been, um, and then I would have started, it would have still sterilized, but not left this residue from from the flame because the flame is not uh, nice but alcohol uh, uh, burns uh, very uh, clean so 
cool. So that's that's the technique that you would use for anything like on your on your toe. Yeah. And then on the finger where you have a coagulated blood on the inside then. Yeah, uh, you, you try to do it before it coagulates. Oh, before, yeah. okay. Because when it coagulates, like right now, that's why I'm not doing it on my toe, because if it would coagulate, uh, it cannot come out. And actually, you even saw uh, that happen about two days ago. But so Not uh, when it's clear, though, right? Yeah, yeah. no. So no. clear be... stuff, you try not to pop, because it's, it's protecting the skin. And if you notice, I didn't pull out the skin. I just made a hole and empty because the skin becomes a dressing itself. Okay. Uh, so if you have, for example, blisters and they're bloody blisters, then you can pop it up. Or um, like when I had my blister on my on my finger, it was so big and so I had to empty the fluids, but I didn't take off the skin. Mm -hmm. Leave the skin because the skin is a protector. If you open this, that becomes an open wound and it's more at risk. For, uh, stuff. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. So now that the uh, alcohol is deaf, and now I'm kind of going through a new um, thing on how to assess wound. It's less than a finger, then it's band aid or um, um, other system that I'm uh, talking about, but uh, because it's a smaller. And so this is like those special dressings. They're um, yeah, this is a little bit different than for, bli uh, for blisters and burns, and so those dressings are like 21st century uh, band aids. Okay, but yeah. The advantage of this now yeah, this is a lot, lot different than the band aids, yeah. the normal band aids. Yeah. That you see this, is this is waterproof. This is waterproof. I'll leave this on for seven days. I can take my shower. I can do whatever. Uh, if I'm uh, go to work or something, and I'm gonna start putting glove I can put a little bit of coal band around because as you mm -hmm. can see the edge sometimes will roll uh, but this is called hydrocolloid okay and basically as you can see actually it already started a little bit this will be absorbed and even if it looks like it's hard it will with the heat of the body will kind of become a little bit of a gel so and then my wound will so this is along the lines of the modern wound dressing that yeah. we talked about I'll put a link in or a little annotation maybe right around there so for that video that's that's why those those bandage because instead of like the cheap hole where i would have to change i don't know five or six of them and they would keep falling apart and stuff now i could go take a swim here and uh, yeah. this dressing will stay on and my wound is fully protected and everything well cool well there we go there's a little uh wound uh, repair yeah. from the mountain rn <laughs> Save that all the way for me, so that's awesome. <laughs> all right, stay tuned for some more medical videos featuring the Mountain RN here in Seattle. See you guys.